have I got an update for you. Okay, let's dive into this tongue-tie journey that has become so much more than I ever bargained for. Well, I have not had the actual tongue-tie procedure yet, but I am on my way. So just to recap, I had my myofunctional therapy, I had the sleep apnea test that I failed miserably, we had the C-scan, we determined I had two pretty moderate tongue ties that needed to be released, a posterior, anterior, had my, my Zoom call with the doctor, the surgeon that was going to be doing the procedure in LA, had the first call with the, with the staff and the team and it went great. And then the second Zoom call was not so great because he said my airway was so unbelievably small and it didn't have enough room at the, you know, in the, the back of the upper palate that he would not feel comfortable releasing my tongue tie if I didn't get the expansion, the MARPI, the MARPI device. Otherwise he could do very, very superficial um, snip, but maybe I'd get 10, maybe 15, 20% at best. So I agreed reluctantly to do the MARPI, which is gonna be six screws at the roof of my mouth to expand. We're gonna do it slow and steady. So it's not like all at once, uh, you know, so I get like this gap between my teeth, but supposedly because we're gonna do this process slowly, I won't get like such a prominent gap. I'm scared as anything but I agreed to it. It was going to take about three weeks for this Marpy device to be made because it's custom made. I gotta get comfortable. All right. So I was just waiting for the device to come in because I had gone to the, the orthodontist that was recommended to me here in Las Vegas to get this procedure done. And they said, like I said, it would be like about three weeks. So I was kind of anxiously waiting. And honestly, as much as I was like, okay, I was ready for this. Then as the time started creeping closer, I was getting nervous and I was like, I'm not going to call and check in. I'm not going to even remotely. Normally I'm like, I'm like on the phone every day calling, you know, calling the, the provider or whatever it is that I'm doing. Cause I'm like anxious to get whatever it is done. But not this time I was, I started to feel more and more nervous because then I went down the TikTok rabbit hole to see what other people's experiences were. And they were just not good. They, like pretty much so most of the people were having horror stories with this Marpy expansion at any rate. Today is April 1st and I get the text at 9.45 a.m. that says, hey, it's Dr. Hamilton's office and your, your, uh, your expander is in. We'd like to install. Can, we, you know, can you come in at 1.45 tomorrow? I did not text back. Oh, I did not text back. I, I just, I sat with it. I sat with it for a moment. And then I told my daughter, my daughter came into my room to, to work out and I said, honey, I said, I got the text. She said, what text? I said, the device is in. She goes, oh no, mom. She goes, oh no, mom. You can't get it yet. She goes, we just bought, I brought it here to show you. We just bought three boxes of grape nuts. You have to eat your grape nuts first. That cramps. Okay. Because I knew, I, I knew that once I get this device installed with six screws up there, that I am not gonna be able, to be able to eat crunchy nuts, you know, sharp things or gummies. So I've been trying, I've been trying to eat as much as I can. So I, I have, I brought some snacks to show you. I love these shameless gummy super worms because they're clean, they're like the cleanest gummies pretty much that you can find. And I got another shipment and I didn't mean to order another shipment. I had like auto ship and I thought I'd, you know, I postponed it and it came again. I'm like, what am I going to, because once I get this installed, there'll be no gummies for, it could be months. It could be a year. It could be two years. Okay. But anyway, I've been eating these and then I decided to find all the gummies products that I eat. And you know, I realized I eat a lot of gummies. So here's my gummy. Here's my sugar bear hair gummies. I've been eating two of those a day trying to, I got two more jars and I was like, how you can only eat two. I think if you eat any more, you get, you'll get sick. So I was trying to down those. And then I've got the phenology. I've got a few of these left. This is the, the daily balance. This is for my hormones. And these are just delicious. And these are gummies. Look at those. You can kind of see them in there, these little squares. So I was, you know, making, making sure that I do those. And then, and then I've got this Aura Pro Body Gummy. And so I've been eating two of those a day and I'm, I'm almost finished with that one, which I'm very happy with. And then, and then I've got these gummies that I really love. And I'm kind of sad that I won't be able to have them during the time of, you know, wearing the device, but they are so good. These are amazing for your, for your memory, for your, for your energy, for your focus. It's Organifi, they are shellac. 
Sheila Jack, there's Sheila Jack, you know, the Sheila Jack that's all over like all the rage. There's Sheila Jack gummies, which means first of all, they're palatable because if you've ever tried the Sheila, Sheila Jack, Sheila Jit, Sheila Shit, it's the, you know, it's, it's almost like tar and it's very unpalatable, lovely in the gummies. And I swear you take these and you've got energy. So I didn't mean for this to be a gummy um, commercial, but I have really been trying to eat up everything I can for like the last supper before I get this thing installed. Focus, focus. You know that ADHD and tongue tie, they're correlated? Uh, yeah, they are. Okay, so I'm gonna stay focused on track. I finally responded to the orthodontist this afternoon. Well, first, first, it was so funny. First, my myofunctional therapist, Minette, she texted me, interestingly enough, today as well. And I hadn't talked to her in a little bit. She's like, hey, did you get the device? And I said, well, funny enough, they called today to said, you know, hey, you know, we've got it in. Do you want to get it installed tomorrow? I'm like, and I was thinking like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And I told her, I'm just, I'm not ready. And she's like, Vanessa, it'll be okay. And I said, oh, but I've got, you know, I've got this to do and that to do. And, you know, I'm just afraid I'm not gonna be able to talk. I'm gonna be in pain. And what have I done? I'm having this kind of like meltdown thing. And she's like, Vanessa, it is okay. She goes, my son had it done. He had four screws. And I said, but he had four screws. I have, I'm gonna have six. She said it was just one day, he was down and he was back to school. She's trying to calm my nerves. She goes, it's gonna be all just fine. So I took a deep breath and I text the dentist back at about four, kind of almost hoping he wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't respond to the next day, but they did. They said, um, I said, I said, oh, that's so early. I said, I've, I've got some, you know, projects that I have to get done prior to coming and getting it installed. I just wanna make sure in case I have some downtime. They're like, oh, well, we aren't gonna install it tomorrow. Excuse me, we aren't gonna install it. We're going to, we're going to give it to you. It'll be about 45 minutes, but we're gonna give it where you can temporarily put it in and you're gonna take it and you're gonna work with your myofunctional therapist before we install it. And I had forgotten about that. I had forgotten that we had made that plan. And then suddenly I felt a lot more comfortable about getting that, uh, that device. Thank you for listening to my rant. I know I just went off the reservation, but you know, I just needed to get this out. At any rate, that 145 appointment tomorrow is gone. I said, oh, can I get in? Can I still take that 145? We're sorry, it's gone. Can you come in Wednesday at 10? And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not really a morning person. She goes, but we don't have anything the rest of the week. I'm like, okay. I, I said, I'll, I'll take the 10, you know, but if anyone cancels tomorrow, can you please let me know? And they said, of course. And then I messaged Minette back and, and I told her and she said, oh, you come in at one. So I'm going to go in at 10 and get the device and he's gonna give me some kind of temporary, I don't know, gummy thing or something that I can put up there to practice to see where it's gonna hit and if I'm gonna have the, the lisp or anything. And then I'm gonna go at one to meet with my myofunctional therapist. And then after that, we will schedule the installation, which would probably be next week, maybe. Anyway, the orthodontist says between 19 and 23 months for the whole procedure, meaning the expansion, as well as wearing the the new aligners, which I, I'm not wearing right now, but in fact, I forgot to put them in most of the day today, but I'm wearing the aligners and then getting the expansion. I need to have about, I think it's 1.47 millimeters or something space. And then I can get the tongue tie during that process of wearing the Marpee. So I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I, I'm thinking that means maybe sometime in the next few months. Now, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I've gotta see how comfortable I am with this, you know, the Marpy before I get the tongue tie release, even when it can, because I, what I don't want is I don't want like sore mouth, sore tongue, and then I'll be a real mess. <sighs> anyway, that is the tongue tie update, and I know that was long-winded, but oh, I just need to get all that out. I need to get all that out. And you know what, I am like, I'm ODing on the gummies. I'm like, I'm, I'm done with the gummies. I need a gummy break. I do need to get a better meal plan. I need to figure out a meal plan for, you know, the, at least the first week, probably lots of liquids, lots of smoothies, I'm sure. And then just make a nice list. And you know what else I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to get like all the stuff ready. Maybe like ice packs for my face. I've seen these kind of things you can put on your head for, you know, when you have like, after you have like a dental procedure, I should probably get that ready. And maybe my friend gave me a little extra pain medication just in case, because they're not gonna give me pain medication. They're gonna give me, they're gonna give me like, they're gonna say like extra strength Tylenol or Moltrin, something like that. And, and a lot of people say that wasn't strong enough. I don't wanna take anything else. I don't want it, but just in case I will have it in case of emergency but we're not gonna put that energy out there. We're gonna put out the energy that it's going to be lovely. This is gonna be a breeze. This procedure is gonna be a breeze and it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay and I'm gonna be able to breathe better and my tongue is gonna be